Okay, so here's our final. This is actually the final problem for this lecture, and it's actually the final problem for this course. Yes. That's the toha. So a stationary destroyer is equipped with a sonar that sends out pulses of sound at 40 megahertz. Reflected pulses are received from a submarine directly below with a time delay of 80 milliseconds at a frequency of 39.958 megahertz. If the speed of sound in seawater is 1.54 kilometers per second, find first the depth of the submarine, and second, it's vertical speed. So this is an this is a relatively more complicated problem compared to the first two. Kasi kung napansin ninyo, ito, meron ka lang system na pinag-uusapan dito. So let's first understand what's going on, then tsaka natin isolve. Ano yung, saan papasok essentially yung Doppler effect sa problem na to? Kung napansin nyo, wait, di ba nagbago yung frequency from 40 megahertz to 39.958 megahertz? So in that case, meron talagang effect yung Doppler, yung Doppler effect Pun intended. In Doppler effect for that, the question is how will it arrive or paano natin makita yung mga emissions na yan? So I'll be giving you a minute to solve this problem, then I'll show you the solution in this problem. Okay. Also, guys, nakikita yung, prob nakikita yung problem? Nakikita naman? Okay. Nakikita ba yung problem? Yeah. Mukha namang nakikita yung problem, no? Sige. So again, you have a stationary destroyer um, and you have... A submarine directly below it. So, um, let's draw first the situation. Kasi baka hindi natin naintindihan yung nangyayari. So, una, meron ka daw destroyer. A destroyer is a big ship. Uh, it's a big warship in particular. So, um, let's say meron akong warship dito. Yan. This warship here is, of course, above water. or And ito yung water, halimbawa. Then after that, you have a submarine. A submarine that looks like this. So, Yan. That submarine is expected um to be below that um that ship that um destroyer uh, by some distance let's say d. Let be there that distance. So let d be the distance between the submarine and the destroyer. Okay, hindi alam na natin yan. Ngayon, ang point dito, um, gaano kalayo yung destroyer dun sa submarine? So we know that the speed of sound at seawater, um, and isa pang tanong dun, ano bang nangyayari dun sa sonar? So what happens is this destroyer here will send waves. So, so ayan, send siya ng wave fronts there. And this submarine here will, for th this is how a sonar works, by the way. This, so th this submarine here will re receive that wave, it will reflect that wave. It will reflect that wave. And after that, the um the destroyer will uh will perceive first its original sound or original frequency. The original frequency, let's say F not. Let's say F not is the original frequency or e freak which is, I think, 40.0 megahertz. And then let's say FR is the reflected frequency. Reflected frequency, which is about 39.958 megahertz. Okay. Pwede meron ka ng ganyan. Ngayon, sige, meron akong ganyan. Um, now, we know that the speed of sound in um, salt water um, is 1.54 kilometers per second. 1.54 kilometers per second. So that's the speed of sound. And the time it took for um for the wave to travel or to return to the submarine, let's say this is some delta T, or let's say T na lang siya, T is just equal to 80.0 milliseconds. Make see dapat talaga yung time yan. Because we're dealing with um with sound here. The question now is how far is the is the submarine from the destroyer? So in that case, the distance here, kung napansin yun, nagdoble, twice the distance para 80 milliseconds. So um assuming that the sound uh since the speed of sound is assumed to be constant. Then, what will happen? Then the total distance, now in that case, the, to the twice the, the distance of between the destroyer and the submarine, 
twice that distance is equal to the speed of the sound multiplied by the time it took for it to travel. So this is equation one. And hence, therefore, the distance between the submarine and the destroyer is just half of the speed of sound multiplied by the time of travel. So this is just one half of 1.54 kilometers per second multiplied by the time, which is 80.0 meters um, meters per second. Uh, the time, but 80 meters, 80 milliseconds, then, sorry. This is 80 milliseconds or 80 times 10 to the minus 3 seconds. So in that case, the answer, it turns out here, D, one can show that the answer D is just equal to what? It's equal to 61.6 meters. So 61.6 meters. Therefore, the distance between the submarine at this particular point in time, the distance between the submarine and the destroyer is 61.6 meters. Medyo malayo siya. Malayo silang dalawa. Pero hindi naman sobrang layo. It's about 61 meters siya. Okay? Malayo yun. Okay. Um, now, that's the first thing that we need to calculate. The first one is the speed of uh, or the distance between the, the submarine and the destroyer. Now, for the second one, ito na interesting. So, the question is, what is this velocity of the submarine at this time? Wait, diba, sir... Tama ba? Gumagalaw ba yung submarine? Yung importante tanong doon. Gumagalaw ba yung submarine? Sir, kala ko hindi siya gumagalaw. Actually, gumagalaw siya. Why? The submarine will move. The submarine moves. Because there is a change in frequency. Reflected it reflected of the sound it reflected pala. Ano yung big sabihin yan? Kapapansin nyo, nagkaroon ng change sa frequency from 40 megahertz naging 39.958 megahertz yung sound. Therefore, kung napansin niyo dito, dapat magbabago, may pagbabago, mayroon dapat speed yan. May relative speed between the the um, between the destroyer and the submarine kasi nagbago yung reflected na sound na nire-release ni submarine kasi kung uh, stationary lang yan the, the the speed here of the sound should the frequency of the sound reflect uh, initially or incident to the to the submarine should also be the same as the frequency of the sound that is reflected and that is perceived by the destroyer. So in that case, dapat magka magkaparehas yan. Kung hindi gumagalaw yung um yung um the, yung submarine. Kaya the question is, is the submarine receding or approaching the destroyer? So is the submarine receding or approaching the submarine? Approaching the destroyer. The answer is since since FL, so or since F reflected is less than F initial, then the submarine recedes from the destroyer. Tiba kasi kung Kung lumalapit siya, dapat mas malaki yung magiging frequency niya. Pero more or less, dapat nag -re siya. Okay, ito na. Here's the, here's the important thing in this topic. Napansin ninyo, okay, eh di nag-release si destroyer ng sound waves with some frequency f naught towards the submarine. Therefore, since this is already moving, then we have two cases here. The first case is that we have a stationary source which is the destroyer that uh, emits sound of some frequency f. Let's say you have f prime here, and upon reaching the submarine, it will give, um, it will receive a frequency f prime. At yung f prime na yon, yun yung frequency na ire-reflect ngayon ni submarine for the second case. For the second case, you have an incident sound. 
from a moving observer with frequency f prime and then it approached the, the the destroyer with some frequency the final frequency now is fr okay so we have two cases so, so consider first the case when the, the destroyer emitted a sound of frequency f prime f not pala let f prime be the frequency received by the submarine in this case then f prime since we have um, we are assuming that the submarine receives from the destroyer. This is a case of a stationary source and a moving listener. And in that case, F prime dot tens by Doppler effect Now you have a moving listener and a stationary source. So in that case, F prime numerator dapat yan. So kasi yung listener yung grand allow. So in that case, you have V minus UL all over V times f naught. This is equation one. Okay? Okay. Now, this f prime here will be reflected. And in reflection, for reflection, there is no change in the frequency of a sound. Walang nagbabago sa frequency pag nare-reflect siya. Ang mangyari lang, yung direction ng sound nababago. So, um, upon reflection, the incident um frequency now is f prime, and this will now approach the destroyer. So do you now have a source that is moving and a stationary listener? So for the second case, after the um after this, the submarine will reflect the sound with frequency. F prime, then it will uh, be I mean, uh, it will be um perceived or it will be heard perceived na lang mas maganda. perceived by the destroyer. This is now a case of a stationary listener and the moving source, and in that case, since the the source now, which is now the submarine, like palis Ipalis sila ng role. Ang source na ngayon ay yung submarine. Nagre-receive siya sa destroyer. In that case, the final received frequency of the destroyer is equal to V all over V plus UL or US times F naught. So this equation, 2. Again, UL there is the, um, the speed of the listener. US is the speed of the source. But for this particular case, but UL is equal to US since we are do since we are talking about the same submarine. Thus we thus therefore the frequency of the received wave is just equal to V all over V plus US. F not, which is just equal to V all over V plus US multiplied by V minus UL all over V multiplied by F not. So this is equation three. The Vs there will cancel. And hence, in terms of the initial frequency, hence, in terms of the initial uh, of the initial frequency, the reflected frequency observed by the destroyer is just V minus U all over V plus U F not where u there is the speed of, of the submarine. So this is equation four. Now the question is, what's that speed? To solve, we solve for the speed of submarine u. So in that case, and the you have fr v plus u. This is just some algebra. Equals v minus u times f naught. This also implies that we have an FRV plus FRU equals VF naught minus UF naught. And pag sama-samain ko lahat ng may V, pag sama-samain ko lahat ng may U, 
And that is, ito, lilipat ko to under, uh, mali pala. Ito, ililipat ko dito. Ito, ililipat ko dito. And we have, therefore, this expression that looks like IU quantity multiplied by F0 as a FR plus F0 equals V quantity F0 minus FR. And therefore, U now becomes an F0 minus FR all over F0 plus FR multiplied by V. Where again, F0 is the initial frequency. FR is the reflected frequency. V there is the speed of sound in seawater. And hence, you can substitute the numbers here. And we have 40 megahertz minus 39.958. 958, diba? Tama ba? This is 39.958, tama? Megahertz. Divided by 40 megahertz plus 39.958 megahertz. Multiplied by, sandali, medyo malayo na ako. And then the speed of um, sound in seawater is, I believe, 1.54 kilometers per second. Therefore, the answer from this, hence the speed of sound in, um, or the speed of the submarine is about 0.809 meters per second. This is the speed of sound uh, of the submarine. And from there, what we have shown that the submarine descends at a rate of U equals 0 0.809 meters per second. Medyo mabagal yung galaw ng submarine. Pero nag, 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 pababa siya, nagde-descend siya. In other words, gumalayo siya dun sa destroyer. Okay? Are there any questions in this problem, guys? So, in this problem. May tanong ba sa problem na to? Are there any questions in this problem? That's the last problem for Physics 71. Are there any questions? Okay? It seems sa mukhang walang tanong. Sige. Okay. Sige. Sige.